Welcome to Dwellin's Women of Influence. In recognition for International Women's Day, every week for the month of March, we'll be highlighting a successful Bajan woman who has made an impact in their field, discussing what inspires them and what has led them to achieve their success. This week, we'll be chatting with Crystal Boyer, health advocate for type 1 diabetes and founder of The Living Collection. For me, that really revolves around my diagnosis. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes 21 years ago now. Um, one of the things for me that inspires me constantly is this need to constantly prove myself. Um, prove it for myself that I can do anything regardless of this lifelong disease and then to prove it to others that I can do anything and maybe do it a little bit better. <laughs> What excites me the most is success and I'll show you how I define success. Success for me is accomplishing goals and it doesn't mean big goals. Um, I have had to, over my lifetime of living with diabetes, look at goals as very minute things. So. If it's my birthday and I'm eating a piece of cake, maintaining a steady blood sugar level two hours later is a huge success. Or if it's accomplishing a lifelong dream of starting a business um, and doing that well, that as well excites me. The thing that has taken me the longest to learn is that I can't help everyone, even though I may want to and that I can't define my success based on what other people want me to define it as. I have a lot of self-care routines. I love to spend time with my friends and listen to music. But one of the things that I do a lot, well, every day, is I take a little bit of time at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. I love breakfast and I love a cup of tea. And those are the two times of the day that I spend with myself. I would say my vision for every year is to just continue to grow. And to grow even more so in 2020. I started a business about six, seven months ago called The Living Collection. And um, I just want to be able to grow better as an employer as a businesswoman, as a leader, and to use everything that, all the lessons that are being hit at me from all the people around me, from all the other women around me, to use that to continue to grow and to mold myself into this vision I have for who I want to be. Don't define your success by others. It is so easy in this day and age with social media and everything like that to look at other women's, what they define as success and to want to take that on as your own. So whether you're a mum who just wants to be a mum and that's your success, let that be your success. Whether you're a businesswoman without a family and your success is wanting to achieve these goals you have for yourself, let that be your success. Thanks for watching. On the next episode of Dwellin's Women of Influence, I'll be having a chat with someone who is known for her elaborate and one-of-a-kind designs.